have you guys seen this? I'm not really too familiar with Spider. I guess because I live in the UK and I don't necessarily um, have uh, any real extensive knowledge when it comes to snowboarding brands or ski brands or whatnot because we don't generally wear that type of stuff because it's not, you know, it never snows that hard. It's cold, but you don't necessarily need to have ski wear or whatnot to be able to combat this sort of cold. Usually a couple of hoodies and a scarf will go a long way for you. But it looks like Supreme is collaborating with one that's fairly well known and by the looks of the and by the reaction I've seen online, people are really hyped for this. So this is courtesy of Supreme. It says Supreme Spider, American ski apparel company Spider, was founded in nineteen seventy eight by David Jacobs, a championship winning skier and coach of the Canadian national ski team. By the late nineteen seventies, Jacobs had noticed only one brand of slalom um, sweater was available on the global ski racing circuit and felt he could develop a better product, which sounds very similar to the Supreme Origin stories, right? Of like James Jeb, you're going to a skate store and seeing how cool the skaters were, but also being disappointed that they didn't have accurate um, or they didn't have appropriate clothing that kind of matched their cultural impact that they were having, you know, in the, at the time she was going to places and you thought you could offer something better than what the skate brands were offering at that time. But if you've got brands like Alpha and New American, all that sort of stuff. Um, he established a mail order business based out of his kitchen and soon broadened his offering to a range of padded ski jack, padded ski sweatshirts and pants as well as racing accessories. Over the following decade, Spider developed new technologies in 1994 Oh, see, this is when the Supreme was launched. The company was granted a patent on its Spide, on its Speedwire racing suits designed to streamline airflow and reduce wind drag. By 997, after multiple U.S. ski team athletes won World Cup downhill wearing the enhanced wear, Industrial Ski Federation banned technology, claiming that it had resulted in unfair advantage. Wow. Similar to those, um, what are those Nike running shoes with the carbon um, little midsole thing that was making you spring off the floor higher or faster so that people they ban those in terms of racing and i forgot what they're called though um the continuity is the spider has been the official supplier of the u.s ski teams and australia austrian and canadian ski teams today is one of the largest ski specialists ski speciality brands in the world and remains globally known for its performance in innovation okay fair enough not really too familiar with the brand itself but the clothing looks really um impressive i'm not really too mad at it if anything the spider stuff does remind me a lot of the young fug brand i forgot what the name of it was called maybe it is spider i forgot the name the kind of graphics it does kind of relay back to it so maybe this is why they've got kind of always been going in that respect i think i read recently or somebody told me that the supreme website or the people behind it were going to move to shopify because i think now it's not on shopify it's whatever platform they use but allegedly that's the whole kind of rumor behind the scenes that they're gonna move it to shopify or it's not going to be on this sort of thing I think this is designed by Splay, isn't it? From back in the day. It, if you tell me you're an OG, if you remember the Splay forums back in the day, I was. I remember being a part of that one. And I remember for a period of time it was members or it was invite only. But I remember getting on there. So if you remember that part of history, then let me know in the comments down below. Splay forum days. That was a real, real, real OG season. But yeah, there's a loads of uh, tracksuits involved here with that really cool spider type crackled you know um print on there on the top which i really like the fleece looks amazing i like the face mask um obviously the pants and the fleece will be really really popular what are those shoes he's wearing that's a bandug in it what are those are those vans okay they are so they're vans authentics in like this weird crushed velvet type style very very bandugi i like the skull gloves they're very nice but i guess they're not supreme but i do like that they're doing this often i maybe this is a thing they've, they've obviously started in recent seasons this sort of thing where they like they give the people who are modeling their clothes, they just let, let them wear their own shit. You know, it's like styled by own. So it's kind of mixed in. It's not just a head to toe supreme look. I, I kind of like that. And the fact that some of their, especially footwear stuff, the people actually, or the models wearing them are actually wearing the shoes day in, day out. So you get to see the shoe brand new in box and you also get to see it worn by somebody that's actually wearing it day to day. I like this also. There's like a long sleeve racing type top that looks really cool. Um, there's a pair of gloves. I don't know if the gloves are connected to the top itself. I'm not too sure. A nice face mask looking jibe as well going on there. It's funny how different these masks are looking now in a post pandemic world, isn't it? They're starting to look more like masks than they were prior. Before they were prior, they were, they were looking like an alternative to wearing a, a flipping, um, what they called N95. Now they look like you're going to rob a bank if you go into a shop like this. I'd imagine some places will ask you to kind of lift up your mask so they can see your face just one time. So that's probably a thing. But yeah, there's um, 
there's a web polar fleece that looks really cool that look that probably you know keep you well insulated throughout the flipping winter months it's a nice kind of spider-man type colorway with a red and blue i like that really really cool looking the gray color is really nice as well but i'm assuming the black and gray and the blue color will probably be the most um popular ones in terms of people trying to cop then you've got the matching pants also that look really nice drawstrings at the bottom which is cool i'm not a fan of the elasticated bottoms underneath i hate that shit but drawstring just to kind of pull them in if you want to that's nice the zips on the pockets i'm not really a fan of either i hate when you have zips in your pockets and you put your hands in them and you're feeling the zip kind of rubbing against your skin it's just don't, not a fan i'd rather have a flap with a button um snapping them in or just some slits that you can put your hands in all in but you know maybe considering these are meant to be kind of ski wear or active wear type pants maybe you need to have a zip in them in case you want to you know carry around your flipping iphone or your gopro in your pocket and whatnot so that probably does make some level of sense more pants and you've got this um top which is called what a web half zip pullover which is pretty decent as well it doesn't come with a matching glove so whatever gloves that kid had on the white gloves are definitely something maybe purchased separately i do like the look of it though that graphic is really nice isn't it that spider it's sort of like a metallic spider web it looks pretty pretty cool i'm a big fan that probably be very popular as well with some of the kiddies and then you've got the what you call it the the balaclava as well which is really nice as well with we'll the spider logo on it and supreme text written on it also so that's definitely going to be a very popular piece for some people out there but yeah all in all not too shabby um when's the date of this meant to be releasing i'm pretty sure it's been released in some time today if i'm not mistaken right um over the following decade of the supreme has worked with spider on the new collection for 2022 the collection consists of a fleece jacket fleece pant long sleeve top and balaclava and will release on december 22nd today and as well in japan on december 24th so if you want that definitely make sure you cop it it's going to be available right now